Welcome to the Soul Connection Podcast, the place where you get the tools to truly connect to yourself. I am your host, Katie Arnold. Grab your journal, find your comfortable meditation position, and let's connect. Hi friends, welcome back to the Soul Connection podcast. I am your host, Katie Arnold, and the intention that we are following for this month of November, if you are listening in November of 2022, is that we are finding our center. And the perfect meditation to do that today is this meditation for centering. Now, I do want to remind you that it doesn't matter if you are listening to this meditation months, years, weeks, days, whatever, however long after it has come out, these meditations are still so beneficial regardless of if you are taking them in the time and focusing on the intention that we are talking about at this time, right? All of our meditations are really just helping us find our center anyway. All of these meditations can help towards stress relief if that's something that you're working on in your life or if that's an intention that we're focusing on in the future. But it allows us to create conversations when we have this intention and when we group our practices and we group our meditations and our journal practices around this intention. It allows us to deeper that conversation with ourselves, with others, and whatever that may look like. Now, I have told you guys that I'm on a little bit of a social media break right now. And I thought, what better way than to kind of talk to you a little bit about it here and just let you know how it's going. And I will say the beginning was not easy. Those first couple days, the tendency to almost without even thinking about it, open Facebook on my computer while I was working my day job, you know, to check and see how a post was doing or to open Instagram or whatever kind of that tendency was. There was more of that mental energy that I had to exert in order to kind of put those tendencies at bay and to catch them in the act. And now I'm recording this, you know, on Saturday. So we're 12 days into this new month. And honestly, it has been so freeing. There is there is a part of me that has a little bit of FOMO, that fear of missing out. And it's not even like the fear of missing out on social media followers or on seeing what other people are posting in the most part. It's the fear of like missing out on the posts and the photos that my friends may be sharing of their lives and even more so of their children, of their growing babies. Those are the things that I have that fear of missing out on, especially those friends that are far away. And I will say too, those friends do all know that I'm on a social media break. So I think the tendency where I'm probably, hopefully going to get more text messages of photos of their children because they know that I'm not going to be looking on social media. The hope is that there will be more of those moments. Um, but that's, that's where the FOMO comes in is missing out on that aspect of my friends' lives. And, you know, I spent the last week traveling. Um, I was out East. I was visiting one of my very best friends and I got to meet her two twin babies and, you know, it just, my social media break, I think allowed me to be more present with her, be more present with those babies, be more present in the other friendships that I was able to reconnect with in person for the first time in years. And, you know, I, I didn't 
feel like I had to pull out my phone or check it or, you know, if my friend was feeding the twins, like, I didn't feel like I had to distract myself with my phone. I could just instead have more conversations with her or see how else I could help her in those moments. And I I think it's been really beautiful. And I will say I am so tempted to keep this going or to really figure out some really strong boundaries for myself. I, you know, and the other thing that I'll say that I miss is like knowing that that's a place that I can have conversations with you guys for conversations with our community. So if you are maybe missing those potential conversations with me, just a really friendly reminder, um, you can email me. It's katie at imkatiearnold.com. I've already received um, a couple emails and just of people wanting to connect, of wanting to share. And if there is something you are wanting to connect on, you're wanting to share, if you you know, have a meditation request, email it to me. You know, so often I would absolutely direct you to social media where we could have those potentially faster back and forth conversations. Um, But email is still a really great way to do that. And, you know, I think we have more space to dive in deeper and maybe have some deeper conversations there. So just throwing that out there that I don't want this to be a time where I feel unreachable to anybody to feel like I'm stepping away from any kind of community aspect here. I fully believe in the power of community. It is one of my components of connection. So you guys know that it means so much to me. But this connection to self that is able to be created just by stepping away from social media right now is also one that is really powerful. So I think I think that's it. I think that's enough of my like soapbox tangent on where I'm at with social media right now but I'm loving it I mean short version I'm loving it so let's go ahead and get to our practice for today today's meditation is about finding your center that space of peace and contentment, your connection to your intuition and higher power, the place where it's safe to be your truest and most authentic self. Start by finding your comfortable meditation position. You can lie down or sit up on a chair or cushion Wherever you are thinking about stacking each vertebrae, creating one long line from the tailbone up to the crown of your head. Ensure you're in that position where your breath can flow naturally in and out, in and out. I invite you to blink the eyes closed or just soften the eyelids to a place where you're comfortable and you can help keep the eyes from darting all around your space. Relax the shoulders down the back. Allow the arms to rest beside you and turn the palms to face down, resting on your knees or the ground below you. Turning the palms down is this physical act of grounding your energy, allowing your mental, emotional, and spiritual energy to follow suit.
Feel all of the places where the body meets the floor, chair, or cushion beneath you. Notice each of those touch points and the gentle energy it creates within your body. Observe the sensations that arise here. Giving yourself permission to be fully present, to completely let go, and to anchor yourself into your practice. We'll start with some deep belly breathing. This practice gets more oxygen into your lungs, which will assist you in calming down and gaining better control of your breath. Start by placing one or both hands on your belly. With your mouth closed, take a long, Slow, deep breath in through your nose. Think about filling up the belly with air like you're filling up a balloon. Pursing your lips, slowly begin to blow the air back out as if you were breathing through a straw. Concentrate on your breathing as you continue to breathe in through your nose, all the way down into the belly, and out through your mouth with pursed lips, like breathing out through a straw. Repeating this breath a few more times together, Inhaling through the nose, feeling the belly expand and fill with air. And slowly exhale, pushing the air out through that straw-like shape. If your pace is slightly faster or slower than mine, that's okay. Move at the speed that feels natural and soothing to your breath. Inhaling through the nose, the breath filling every corner of the belly, and slowly exhaling through your pursed lips. Keep the hands on the belly, allowing you to stay grounded into this practice and connected to the center of your physical body. Take several more rounds on your own, moving at the rhythm of your breath.
gently release the breath work. Allow the breath to flow naturally. Easy and effortless inhales and exhales. Nothing to change or control. Sit and soak in this stillness, this place of connection, your center. You can stay in this place as long as feels good to you, but if you're ready, start to bring some awareness back to your physical body, blinking your eyes open once again, and release yourself from your meditation. As you grab your journal, your prompt for today, how easy was it for you to drop into center? And what did you notice? How easy was it for you to drop into center? And what did you notice? Thank you so much for joining me. If you have found connection from our practice today, Please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already, leave a rating and review, and know that you help more people find these practices that bring them back to themselves and more connected and centered. I'll see you back here for your next Soul Connection practice.